Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Now in this one and we're going to be showing you guys uh, some kind of mods that you should do if you have this uh, loopy adept. So the first thing I did was uh, I downloaded a base for the loopy so that way it's like you know a little bit more angled and so that way it's a little bit easier, you know, on your wrist, a little bit more ergonomic, etc. So if you scroll down, to, if you go to this link that I have in the description, and you scroll all the way down to uh, the modding ability section, and here I have like all of the mods that are used. So for the base, it looks like this. And in real life, it looks like this. So yeah, pretty cool thing. It just gives you a 10 degree angle. Um, I also added some rubber feet. So these are just kind of stick on feet. You can get a hundred of these on AliExpress for like three euro. And yeah, they're pretty handy. And they also have these screw posts. Uh, so what this is, is the ploopy in itself. So I'll just show you guys here. It has, you see this, the screws holes here. And since the screws go in quite deep, what the guy who created this is, he made it so that those posts go in the screw holes and that way this doesn't move. And it's a pretty cool, pretty cool, clever design. Uh, let me just get another trackball mouse going here while this is disconnected. <laughs> All right, so that was the uh, first mod. Now the second mod is the raised buttons. So you see here, I have some raised buttons here. Uh, this just helps because uh, I use the trackball kind of like this in this angle. So I can easily get to this button, I can easily get to this button. And this button is still a little bit tricky, but um, I don't use it too often, so you know, it's all right. Whereas these buttons are fairly impossible to get to my angle. Or with, yeah, with the way I use the ploopy, which is kind of like this. Yeah, with the ploopy, you're kind of supposed to use it kind of more uh, like from the top, but I use it kind of from the side, so that's why uh, it becomes very hard to press these buttons here. But now with the raised buttons, it's uh, quite easy. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. And now these ones, uh, yeah, these ones are, now there's a slight problem with these ones for me anyway. If you look at the STL file here, uh, if we open it up in the 3D viewer. Okay, so as you can see here, there is a lip. Um, now, I don't know, maybe on a good printer, you can actually print like these massive overhangs, but on the my shitty ass fucking printer, this is impossible. So what I did was, uh, I modified that STL file, so I'll just open these in new tab, and yeah, here. So what I did was I removed the lip, so that way they just print flat on the ground. And as you can see, I also kind of made them a lot shorter. So if you were to go here, you'll see that the bump here is like a good bit taller. So I removed like around one millimeter of bump um, just cause, I don't know, it just didn't really look that good with the huge bump. Um, whereas with the smaller bump, it looks, you know, pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, that was the only kind of modification I did to that file. Now to stick these on, I just used double-sided tape. So um, hopefully it'll come off <laughs> without breaking anything. But uh, yeah, I don't think so. I think they're pretty much permanently on here, but which is fine. Um, right, so, and lastly, for the loopy, you would need 
a wrist rest as well. So the wrist rest is um, kind of up to you, whatever you want to do. Uh, what I did was I just created uh, a modified version of my keyboard wrist rest. So yeah, I can't really show it to you guys now um, on camera, but uh, you'll probably see it in my other videos where I have like a split keyboard. And so yeah, there's like the keyboard kind of goes like this. So there's a section which kind of fits in straight into the keyboard. And for the wrist rest, I just cut that section off. And since these are going to be quite close to each other, I also made it a little bit smaller. So I just cut a bit off here. So that way they fit side by side, because that's actually how I have them. I have them, you know, side by side pretty much. And that wrist rest is inside this repo as well. Okay, it looks a bit fucked, but <laughs> <laughs> don't worry you can print it and I recommend printing this in TPU so that's so that it's you know nice and soft and I recommend printing it at a 10% uh, infill so that way it's like 90% air so it's you know nice and soft but it's still you know hard enough where it will support your wrist uh, fairly properly all right so yeah that's pretty much it just wanted to show you uh, the kind of must have mods for the uh, Plupi Adept and yeah and overall it looks like this beside my keyboard so yeah it looks fairly sick I must say so myself and yeah alright thank you boys for watching bye bye